Look, I'm going to be a millionaire by 30. I'm going to build the next iPhone and then we're going to colonise Mars. I'm telling you this because someone needs to hold me accountable and I know you don't let me get away with slacking. So, should you tell people about your goals? It's a question that's played me pretty much my whole life and I know it might seem trivial, but self-talk can be the difference between two completely different lives. Watching my speech has played a huge role in where I am today, so it's something I take fairly seriously. In this video, I'm going to explore the pros and cons of both options and leave you with a final conclusion to think about. So, first, what are the cons of telling people about your goals? So picture this, you're at your local pub and you've met someone for the first time and you're talking about careers or goals etc and they ask you yours. It's usually that creepy old man who's there every night trying to make conversation with the young people. So you go on an elaborate speech about how you're going to achieve this and that and it feels good. Whether or not you have achieved any of it yet, you still feel good about talking about it. It makes you feel like you have achieved something but you haven't. So this is our ego at play. Another con is that it makes it less exciting when people see it live. If you tell everyone that you're going to get 100,000 followers by December, then you end up getting 10,000, no one's going to be raving in excitement for you. But if they randomly come across your profile and you have 10,000 followers, then they would have a much different reaction. So I feel like expectations are such an underrated influence towards our emotions. The perfect way to show this is how our lives have got increasingly richer, healthier and just better overall every century. And I heard somewhere that the average person today has a better quality of life than Louis IV. Yet we aren't any happier. So how can that possibly be? If you told someone in the 1500s that suddenly they don't need to worry about famines, wars, infant deaths and will put a tiny computer in their hand that can help them talk to politicians, sports stars and celebrities, they would be partying in the streets for weeks and that's before they'd even hear about Tinder. It's because our expectations have increased alongside our quality of life. So all of that doesn't seem that impressive because we're just used to it. You can use this natural human feature to your advantage by managing people's expectations and end up looking better than you actually are. So when I was younger, I wouldn't lift a dish, but my sister would always help my mum out in the kitchen. So when I actually would help out around the house, I would get praise as if I'd just finished a week of spring cleaning. And I'm sure a few of you can relate on this one. So back to your goals. So Telling people about them also makes failing worse because now you've told everyone what you're going to do. So when they check up on you and ask how you're getting on, if you say that you've given up, like that doesn't feel very good. But that leads us on to the pros because the first one is also that it makes failing worse. Yes, if you do fail, you'll feel more embarrassed, but you'll also feel a lot more pressure to get what you need to do done. That's because people are now holding you accountable. Just like you're a lot more likely to finish that set of sit-ups with a personal trainer watching and shouting over you, you're more likely to stick to a goal you've told everyone about. Another reason is commitment bias. Not only does it make other people hold you accountable, but you're also holding yourself accountable. When we were running around trying to find some figs to eat and avoid getting eaten by lions, we worked in tribes, and if we weren't trustworthy to our tribe, we would probably get killed. Um, so this has created a deeply ingrained pressure inside of us to be consistent with what we tell ourselves, to be trustworthy. That's why positive self-talk works. That's why it's so important to watch what you say. Anything from I'm bad at maths to I'm depressed feeds into this trustworthy trigger in your subconscious mind. And the same goes for your goals. Another point towards telling people your goals is that they might be able to help. So for example, if you want to be a professional hockey player and you tell someone at a dinner party, they might know a coach for the GB hockey team, for example. Coincidences like that are a lot more common than you might think, and in that case, you would really regret not mentioning your goals. So where does this leave us? There are pretty good points for both sides. Well, like most big topics, it depends. For me, I personally prefer not to tell people and then just let them see it eventually. It's a bit of a better feeling and it's a good marker that you're doing well if they see it naturally. However, if it's something that could be useful for people to know and help out with, I would tell them. So for example, I once started a healthy snack brand and after creating the social channels, I told pretty much all of my friends and family. That's because they were able to help me out by testing flavors, sharing posts and telling their friends. And it was actually extremely useful. So my default is to not tell people my goals unless the benefits of their help outweighs the negatives. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you took any value at all from this video, I'd really appreciate if you could hit the like button and comment below on whether or not you tell people your goals and why. 
So I post weekly videos on building discipline and an unbreakable mindset. If you're interested in improving your life, then hit the subscribe button and join the community. I've also just released a free playbook to getting your life together. Um, it takes you through the step-by-step -step process that I use for going from anxious and lazy to fulfilled and productive. It's completely free, so grab it while you can. It's the first link in the description. And I really appreciate you watching this to the end. I'll see you in the next one. Thank mm -hmm. you.